Welcome back to Loving Living Local. You know, every month, Wirenut Home Serv Services donates a lump sum of money to a local charity. And the three degree guarantee is a way for Wirenut Home Services just to give back to the community. This month's recipient is Bridge Hope, which exists for one purpose and one purpose only, to support and restore hope in those who've been exploited and trafficked. So joining us this morning is Jessica Crisp. She is the co-founder and executive director of Bridge Hope. Good morning, Jessica. It is so nice to have you here. It is an absolute delight to be here as well. Thank you. And right next to her is Warren Kulcher. He is the director at Wirenut Home Services. Good morning, Warren. Good morning. Let's start with Jessica. Um, can you kind of share, well, see, sorry, Jessa, can you sort of share with me what led you to co-found Bridge Hope? Totally. So I'm a survivor of human trafficking myself, and through seeing the gaps within our community and recognizing the needs that survivors have, my husband and I went ahead and we co-founded Bridge Hope to go ahead and bridge resources and foster hope to survivors within the community. Now, can you kind of elaborate on that? I'm curious to know what it is that they do in the community. Yeah, so the three things that we go ahead and do in the community is first, we do trainings and we educate individuals and professionals on how to go ahead and recognize human trafficking within their spheres of influence. And then the second thing that we do is we go ahead and we are developing an app to strategically collaborate resources for survivors in real time. And then the third thing we do is we provide resources to survivors and those resources are called direct services. And by the end of 2020, we have worked with over 300 survivors of human trafficking. Okay, so Jessica, I'm just curious to know, whenever you founded this, was this something that, a, a, a void that you were trying to fill with your own personal experience? Were these things that you recognize were needed in the community? Is that what made you inspired to do this? Exactly. So I saw that our community at the time of co-founding Bridge Hope lacked education. We lacked a fast way to go ahead and get resources to survivors in real time. And then we also saw a lack of support for all survivors of human trafficking. A lot of people think human trafficking is only happening to females, but the reality is as high as 50% of kids who are being exploited in the U.S. are boys. And so at wow. Bridge Hope, we are a gender inclusive organization that just wants to go ahead and give hope to all survivors that come to us looking for a place to belong. And does it really matter the age? Can it be older, younger? Is it just open to anybody that's had this type of experience? It's open to anyone who's experienced human trafficking. So this being as important as it is, what can the general public do to kind of help you fight human trafficking? Yeah, so this might seem very cliche, but I believe that education is one powerful tool to go ahead and begin to see the signs and symptoms of one who's being exploited. And it's powerful because just as one person saw the red flags inside of my life and reached out and knew how to respond, I believe that individuals who get education can do that in the lives of other people. Also too, we need professionals who are trained in professional services like dentists to go ahead and provide professional resources. We need individuals to donate so we can continue to offer these services within the community and continue to give hope to survivors. And then last but not least, labor trafficking is also happening. And so I like oh. to say buying fair trade products very much puts the heart of humanity back into what we consume. And so buying fair trade products does fight human trafficking as well. All right, Jessa, thank you so much. That's very insightful. I had no idea. Um, Warren, being that they're the recipient this month of the three degree guarantee, can you kind of uh, elaborate a little bit like how you guys chose them so other people mm -hmm. could maybe nominate their charity? Yeah, sure. So um, every month, as you know, uh, through the three degree guarantee, um, we get a list of people that are nominated and our team uh, sits down and goes through and does some research, looks at the organizations. And it's really tough because there's a lot of people and a lot of things that that are out there that need help. But as a team, we just want to be involved in our community. And it's such, to piggyback on what Jessa said, it's kind of a cliche sometimes when people say, well, if we only did this, it could help one person or change one person's life. It's, it's overused in many situations. However, in this case, uh, Jessa is a living example of what can happen if someone does see something, notice something, and it can change someone's life. The trajectory literally can be changed. And so as an organization, we just sat down and thought, well, 
how can we make a bigger impact, what is more impactful, and yes. we talk about these things. So our team really felt like this is something that um, we wanted to be involved in, and we really do believe that it can change someone's mm -hmm. life if we just get a little educated. In fact, I spoke with Jess off camera earlier, and we are going to be setting up a training for our organization so she can teach us and educate us on what to look for and how we can help in other ways. That's incredible. Um, I love that. So now it's time to go ahead and present the check and see uh, who's going to be getting, how big that check is that you're going to be getting this month to support that charity. There you go. There it is, the check, $1,500 this month. Congratulations to Bridge Hope, and thank you guys so much for allowing us to be part of this. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. To nominate your favorite charity, it's very simple. You can go to fox21news.com, then go to the Weather tab and select 3 Degree Guarantee. Really easy. This segment, it's been sponsored by Wirenut Home Services.